So, it's about lunch time. My family finally. You're such woke a liar. Up. It's not. It's like nine o'clock. Are you ready for some bunk beds? Are you excited? Yeah? Me too. So how was your fan club this morning? Good. <laughs> Did got you? a new follower. <laughs> Gonna get to work on the bunks now. We bought all the materials yesterday. We've got our two by fours, um, four by four posts and plywood. So we're gonna get started on uh, building the bunks and hopefully we can get the majority of it knocked out today. And then we won't have, probably won't have like the ladder and stuff done today, but at least have the frame with the beds and stuff ready to go. Well, we totally forgot stain, so we need to yeah. get that anyway. Yeah, we gotta get stain. Brooke's gotta do some painting and stuff, so it'll take us at least a couple days to get it done, but. We're so excited. They're excited for their bunks, so. Why did you? notch this like this what, what's your plan the two by four is going to sit inside there so the two by four sits flush with this to save space inside the rig so the two by four sitting on the outside or the inside makes it a little more compact So our plan for the bunks is the main part of the bed is going to get painted. It's going to be um, the tannish brown color that we have the one bench for our dinette that's finished. We still have another bench for the dinette to do and then we'll do the tabletop. But we're going to paint the bed and then the ladder and the rails are going to get stained to give it um, a little bit of character. We don't want it one solid color, but we weren't using all the same types of lumber and we don't have banding to do, um, like to hide things on the bed, so it's just easier to paint and be done with that. So we got all the boards cut for the main frame of the bunk. Um, you guys saw what we were doing here. The notch was out, so the two by four is gonna sit nice and flush. This is our long side here. We cut some shorter two by fours to fit right behind here. The short side or two by fours is gonna fit right here. We'll screw it in right here. And it'll run that way. And it'll just butt up against here to kind of keep everything hidden. Because I put the two by fours on the inside there because we got a windows and stuff on the ends. So I want to be able to use the blinds and stuff. So that's why we did that. So you guys see what we got going on. Brooke's getting ready to paint. We got them all sanded. Um, so not ideal. I really didn't want to paint. Um, inside the trailer at all. I am taking the bed apart. We had the day bed back here. So if you've followed our journey for any time at all, you know that originally we had two um, like lazy boys back here. That was not gonna cut for three boys to sleep. And then we're gonna start building. Right here is our curtain. We had to bump this down a little bit um, or poor Easton on the top bunk would have zero room. So we've gone back and forth. We finally decided to move it down. It's a bummer because it, we lose a little bit of the window, not a whole lot, but um, this one we lose a little more. We were willing to do that so we had the space. So our plywood is 5 eighths, I believe. It'll sit on top of here and it'll sit about flush here. So the bed will actually come back over this hole here and cover that gap um, the mattress will so that we have room to not slide that out any further than we absolutely have to. That way we can put the ladder on the outside here. Um, the ladder will be mounted on the outside and then the rails. So Jordan's handiwork, right Jordan? Yeah. 
He loves my projects. So we cut a bunch of these little blocks. Um, I'm gonna put them on the inside here of our rails. We're using one by fours to run across for support. And so I wanna put these underneath and then the one by four sit on top of it. And they're gonna be end up being flush with the rail here. And then our plywood's gonna sit across that, across everything. So it has as many contact points as possible. So we cut a whole bunch of these, I'm gonna screw them in. And yeah, so we got I'm doing five on each side, top and bottom, total of 20 of them. I pre-drilled the holes so these little blocks wouldn't split. See, and I cheated and I cut these just to the right length. I don't remember what the measurement was so that I only had enough space for the one by four to sit on there. So I didn't have to do a whole bunch of measuring. Work so. smarter, not harder, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so Brooke's got some painting done. Um, the places that don't have paint on them, you're not gonna see anyway, so we weren't gonna waste the paint on it. But she's got two coats on pretty much everywhere. There's a little bit of touch up to do. And then, yeah, we gotta run to Lowe's and get a few things. A um, Couple more one by fours, couple shorter screws and stuff and some stain that we forgot. So we're gonna go grab that real quick while this dries. And then when we come back, we should be able to screw it all together and at least have the frame done this evening. Brooke's painting our one by fours. These are gonna span between the rails. Um, and then we're gonna put plywood on top of them. These are gonna sit on those little blocks that we put on there. Um, we're gonna put plywood on top just for, to be a little more sturdy and stuff. Um, because we have three boys. Yes, and we're only using half inch plywood. That's why we're gonna use these little supports too. But we wanted to go as light as possible, but still sturdy. So she's putting that on there. Um, and we're, the other reason we're using plywood is the mattresses aren't the full length of this. This is just over eight foot. And so the boys are gonna have a little, about a foot on the ends that we're gonna put some bins and they can put some toys and stuff in um a little play area and stuff on the bunks too so so then this is going to sit flush up here there'll be a little rail here to keep the mattress in and then another rail up um to keep the boys in <laughs> from rolling out but it's looking so great What you got going on? So we got our piece of plywood cut to fit. Now we just need to notch out our corners for our post and it should slide right down on it. Theoretically. Yep. So if we can get it in there. Measure and see what I need to, how I need to notch it. And we have to hope that we can get the angle right to get it slid in there and get it brought down. Yes, well, we should, the top one we should be able to just go right over the top and drop it down. Oh, that's true. Okay, sweet. The bottom one, we got enough room to tilt it up. It's tall enough that, angle it in there. yeah. Okay. We ready to try it? I think so. I'm ready sure. To I'm ready to try my bed out. <laughs> well, you got a little bit before we do that. Where I then? To the post. Um. Yeah. Close enough. Was a charm. First time it was too big. We kind of wondered about that. We were hoping we were going to squeak it in. Not so much. Second time we put it up, those corners, we forgot that we slid the board back further. Well, actually, we slid the bunks out to allow the curtain behind it so that we could sit it further back and we could drop the bunk so Easton had more room up top. So then we had to cut that corner. Um, then we tried to put it in and um, it still, we couldn't get it in. So. No, we cut it in half first. Well, yeah, but but we couldn't get it yeah. yes. in, so we had to cut it in half 
to put it in there. Um, so you can't really tell it's, we have the support here, so it's perfect that we have those mm -hmm. and it runs across it. No big deal. It's supported on the outside edge and the inside. So perfect for that. And then here where you see the seam, we are going to take a one by four and it's going to match the ladder that goes here. Um, and it's going to be a different color is our plan, but it'll give us a little bit of a ledge to keep the mattress from sliding forward, which is great. And we won't have, um, like stuff falling down. I don't like when bedding falls down. And then, um, also it'll hide this ugly edge and we don't have to do any banding or anything like that. Coming together. What are you doing Easty? Coloring with my coloring painting thing. Oh, can you show it to me? How's it work? Water, oh, that's cool. Neat. Pretty cool, dude. Stuff you're supposed to this is the stuff you're supposed to find. So, trash can, this, 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 this. And this is how you color it with water, a little water, um, to make it to go. And how you find everything. Okay, what am I doing? I need you to lift the bottom up down there oh. so it's even with the okay. two by four so we're at the right height. So we're square down there. Yes. Okay, okay there you go. All right, day two of the bunk bed build. Um, I had some work stuff to do this morning, so it's the afternoon now. Um, I did get some boards cut for our ladder and railing this morning. And I got a couple of them put up right here. This is where the ladder is going to be. Um, I haven't cut the rungs yet, but I'm going to cut the rungs and they'll go up to here. I have the opening for them to crawl up into the bed here. And then we're going to have a rail that goes across the top here. And then one that goes down a little bit lower to kind of help hold the mattress in to match the one we're going to do on the bottom. So I got all those boards cut. Um, got some little spacer boards cut to put up. On the bottom, we're gonna put them right there to bring the rail out just a little bit um, to match with the ladder. So we're gonna get that done now. Um, get everything. I'm just putting a couple screws in all this right now. We're gonna get all test fit, and then Brooke wants to stain this stuff, so we're gonna take it back off and we're gonna stain it outside. Um, that way, we don't have to smell it in here and stuff and uh, make a mess with stain. So. <music> got a day where it's not supposed to rain until late tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and get the boards for the bunk bed stained all the railing and ladders I'm gonna stain all that um, I know you guys saw the video of us putting the bunks in there and stuff and apologize that it is a little dark in there because it's been rainy the last few days um, it's supposed to be cloudy today but it's supposed to be warm with no rain so I got all the boards laid out here we're going to use this Minwax, um, it's a dark walnut. We took a piece of the trim in that we had taken off and matched it as close as we could to the stain. So yeah, we're going to, I'm going to rub it on, we got this terry cloth, we'll just rub it on with that. Luckily, there's this tree that was blocking a lot of the rain for just long enough I could get the board done. Alright, 
so that's basically one coat, basically two coats. Um, I spray from this angle here so I get this edge and then I'll go and I'll spray from the other side so this top's kind of getting two coats. But it's having a lot of issues with this can. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the time lapse, but when I push it down, it would just stay down. It wouldn't ever turn off. So that was giving me some issues. Um, and then it was just sputtering really bad. And I shook it for a good long time and uh, shook it while I was trying to use it and still just having all kinds of issues with it. So hopefully my other can works a lot better. How are the bunks coming? Great. Except for I came outside to enjoy my drink. And look, a bird relieved himself on our bunks. Aww. So hopefully it's dry enough so I can get it off the wet paper towel. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh good. Yeah, the day I was sitting out here and a bird pooped on my shoulder. <laughs> it's the one problem with being in the rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, got all the boards, got the poly on all the boards, they've dried, cured, um, we're able to handle them now. So we're gonna try and get the boards up on here. The boys are taking a nap, so we're gonna try and surprise them. Um, they'll be pretty excited if we can get this done before they wake up. So they, we were planning on doing this tomorrow, but I'm, we're gonna try and get it done tonight for them, um, just cause they're super excited. How's it going? It's going. Hey. Is it done? Ta da! Should we show them? Well, I mean, the rails are done and the ladder's done. Well, yeah, yeah, bedding's not done, and drawers curtains aren't, aren't fixed, done. drawers isn't, aren't done. But they can climb up there now. No, but should we show them, like these people on yeah, the camera? you can test it out. Oh, gosh. Here, let me climb up there. I'll let Brooke test it out here. Hey. Hopefully we don't have to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Does it feel sturdy? Enough for me, no, not really, but... It is, clearly. I got up here. Um, this is going to be a miserable bed to make. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I just can't bring myself to spend the $500 that it would cost for us to get beddies for both of them. And they have to match. There it is. How do I get down? We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Graham. Wait, go back. <laughs> Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Go check it out, you see? What do you think? Do you like it? Is that cool? Do you wanna climb up to the top and check it out? Climb up there, check it out. Do you guys approve? What do you think? I love it. Hey, where'd you go? It's right there. What are you doing? <laughs> so Jordan's handiwork on the bunk is pretty superb, um, if I do say so. But we do have a few things we still need to do. We are going to fill these guys um, and stain them so that it all looks flush and matches. And then the curtains here. So we'll have a shorter one for up top. And then this one down here will have a separate one. But we're going to reuse these curtains to do that. So we have to have them hemmed. And then on the bottom, the boxes aren't done. So we will have three boxes down there, three drawers, boxes, whatever. Um, they're just gonna be on casters and pull out, so they're not gonna be on drawer slides. One, it's cheaper, and two, it's way less headache than having to line up the drawer slides and do all that um, to just slide the boxes in there. So we're making some progress, um, probably another couple weeks before it's totally done, but I'm pumped. So you guys leave a comment below, tell Jordan how awesome you think his bunks are. If you like this DIY and this tutorial, um, give us a thumbs up, 
let us know what you think click that subscribe button because he's pretty handy and we have some other projects coming up mm -hmm.